What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So as you guys know, I, I have two channels. I have Everything Woke, and I have White Witch Terror. I was being called to have this message open and discern whether or not I'm going to post it on either all the channel because I don't know which way this channel is this message is going. I don't know why I'm being called to have it open. I feel like that's also an omen for you guys. Um maybe you guys want to end something and just be open to different things or another experience. Maybe you guys have been going back and forth about you breaking up and being open to different relationships. Um but White Witch Tarot focuses on strictly relationships that are dealing with a lot of karmic situations and energies all right so that's how i'm going to discern whether or not which message i'm this message is going to go to which channel again let me cut this card cards again and we're going to tap in the, either either channel whatever channel you decide to watch is always going to be the first link in the description box down below regarding the other channel all right the three of cups so this is about groups this is about a group setting. This is about a celebration. This is about um, togetherness and happiness. This is about achieving something to the next level, accomplishing something, all right? Or it could just be strictly about friends or family members, just other people. We'll see. All right? So for some of you guys, this is about separating. All right, this is about separating from the party life. This is about getting your rest in. This is about having a a, a, a healthy routine at nighttime so where you could be energized in the morning. So I just feel like you guys chose to separate from the crowd. A lot of you guys turned down invitations to go out partying and drinking and stuff. You guys, this is a church in a fourth floor, so you could be really, really practicing, um, staying committed to a certain um, path or a certain spiritual journey or routine or practice. All right, that requires you to be more, be more in solitude and not have you know to um, intoxicate your body. But I see you actually moving away from the crowd, okay, and being by yourself. That's what I see. Um, I feel like with the Four of Swords, you've been thinking a lot about how these people um, are not going in the right direction. How they not, they might not even, that might, that might not even be that. You've been thinking about how these people are not aligned with you, you know, like based off of the decisions that they are making, right? The crowds, all right? You choosing to not be a part of the crowd, that crowd no more. Four of Swords. You're noticing that the crowd, that crowd life is not helping you no more. All right, the King of Wands, yeah. You know, the King of Wands talks about a masculine energy that has magnetism. All right, that has spark, that has inspiration, that 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 always feel inspired to do something. They look good, they dress, they dress well, you know, and they have a lot of options. All right, and I feel like the options that this masculine has been getting when it comes to love just has not been what they have been expecting or hoping for. It hasn't been what they are attracted to or even even passionate about. All right, this could even be people just being easy, you know, because the King of Wands got that gift of gab. So they just somebody is just choosing not to be a part of that crowd, even when it comes to um, going out. For some of you guys, y'all and y'all King of Wands energy, you know, y'all actually turning down invites. Or at least y'all thinking about it. This is what y'all thinking about. Like y'all, y'all rather be be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all may y'all may like to have fun. All right, but maybe, maybe it's time to switch up. Maybe y'all thinking it's time to switch up with the groups and the people that you've been around. Even the love is it's just not attracting you no more. To the point where you rather just, for some of you guys, you even turning down, you know, sex. You like, nah, I'd rather be by myself. All right, because you looking from afar. 
Like you looking, you and your King of Wands energy, you looking from a fall. Like these people are bugged the fuck out. This is what the fuck I'm getting. All right. <laughs> Like, these people have lost their minds thinking I'm supposed to go out every day or do this or do that. Like, so it's like, also, I'm getting like y'all growing up. Because, again, the King of Wands love to party. They love to be that masculine to, 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 to just to, to, to have that thrill. So, let's see. All right, the King of Pentacles. Y'all choosing to focus on y'all bag. Y'all choosing to focus on y'all income. Y'all choosing to focus on y'all money. Y'all choosing to focus on having the means to even go out and to have fun. All right, I feel like these people around y'all just want to go have fun. They not thinking about how because they feel like you're going to pay for everything. I feel like that's a, that's, a, that's 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 dead. I feel like you being the king of pentacles and paying for everything when you go out, even for y'all masculine and y'all feminines. All right, there to be a masculine or a feminine energy. So if, if you are not in this masculine energy, you a feminine, this could be you just going out with a group of people and they feel like you going to pay for everything. Like you going out and they just know because you at a level of success or because you got a certain type of income or money coming in that you just obligated to pay for every drink. Pay for their friend's drink. Pray for their friend's friend drink. Pay for the food. You know, the King of Pentacles, they do got pulled. You know, as a King of Pentacles, King of Wands, when you go to a restaurant, all right, you getting treated the finest. When you go to a club, you getting treated the finest. When you be around people, you getting treated the finest. So when people get around you, they already know that they about to get treated the finest. Okay? Whether you a masculine or a feminine. All right, that's just how you showing up. That's just like that's just the pull you have as the King of Wands, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is like a, you got pull. All right, so I'm choosing. I'm seeing you choosing not to have that pull with the same energy of people because it's just not fun to you. It's like why it's not fun when you're the only person that has the type of pull or you're the only person that want that people want. It's like it's not fun. All right, so yeah, y'all choosing not to be a part of the crowd because y'all realizing y'all all the crowd by yourself. Literally, y'all all the crowd by yourself. When you go out, whether you got a lot of money or not, you have enough to get what you want out the club. All right, you're not required to give everybody else. All right, you have it. All right, and these people looking at it like that. All right, it's your pool. Spirits, tell me more about this energy, the, the, the Three of Cups. The Queen of Swords. All right, the Queen of Swords. So you got a Queen of Swords here that may have been killing a vibe. All right, you got a Queen of Swords here that may have been killing a vibe. All right, every time you was having fun, every time you was being celebrated, every time you wanted to celebrate, every time women would compliment you, oh, they were not having it. All right, so you had a you had a vibe killer. All right, you had a vibe killer is what it's looking like. All right, this is looking like somebody that is very argumentative in, in settings where there's a lot of people in public places. This is giving me the energy of a female that don't care about where they at who they who, who's around all right if they feel like women are celebrating you or women are too close to you in a club all right they they saying something they're causing a big wreck is what i'm saying all right they you could be in a marriage or like in some sort of high level um contract with this person all right but this is a vibe killer this is somebody that is ready to argue fight all right, after the club because of what you was doing or who was looking at you. They ready. All right, they ready. This is a person that is not to be trusted too much with a lot of drinks because they can't hold a tongue and they don't know how to control their emotions. So when they drink too much and they seeing or they thinking some sort of craziness in their head that women are around you celebrating you or y'all just in a certain energy, all right, when you when you waiting, you thinking you gonna go home and have a peaceful night, and then you being met with a motherfucking argument about about people in a motherfucking club or people around that you wasn't even thinking about. 
Yeah, so this definitely is a vibe killer. And you are, you chose not to be a part of that crowd. You don't like to go out with them no more. You don't like to go out with this Queen of Swords no more. You don't you don't like um and also you're not really attracted, right? Because when you go home, right? When you go home from the club, you going straight to bed. You going straight to bed. All right, and that's another thing that they've been arguing about too. Motherfucker, why are you why are you going home straight to bed? Why because you, you don't want to argue, it makes your dick soft. I'm also hearing this person, this King of Wands saying, you supposed to be making my dick hard, not my life. That's what I heard. You supposed to be making my dick hard, not my life. So yeah, that's what that Queen of Swords is giving. Spirit, give me more on this Four of Swords. A lot of times, they're their invite was revoked, all right, and, and turned down to go out. And that was another thing, all right? This king of wands rather do something else or be at peace than to go out with their friends. Like this king of wands did not like this queen of swords friends, all right? They felt like this their friends probably was given off the same type of vibe as her, all right? Um, but they, uh, y'all just chose not to be a part of that crowd, any crowd that was attached to this Queen of Swords, all right, because it came with a lot of drama, all right, it came with a lot of gossip, all right, um, and it, I, I'm just hearing it came with a lot of lust. It came with a lot of lust. Spirit, give me more on this Four of Swords, please. All right, the Emperor. Yeah, this person, you guys have better shit to do as an Emperor. Do you have better shit to do than to carry on fussing and fighting and fucking up your reputation as an emperor when you going out? All right. As a queen of swords and this energy, you can't take her nowhere. She is not to be taken anywhere in, in regards to a public place because it's the status you hold. You coming out. Remember the queen, the emperor is all four kings. All right. He's already coming out as the king of wands and the king of pentacles. That is a provider. That is somebody that takes action. That is somebody that loves what they do. But most importantly, it's their reputation and a community that allows them to have so much pull. All right. So this reputation needs to be kept up in regards to the relationship you have. Because one wrong relationship can fuck up all of the bonds that you created and built yourself up to be. All right, so y'all yeah, turned down a lot of this Queen of Swords offers when it came to partying or going out because you just simply had better shit to do as a emperor. The emperor is all four queens. I mean, kings, so they got to like, they got a lot of responsibility. All right, the choices that they make are not only behalf on them, it's behalf of many others. All right, think of it like a boss. Think of it like a father figure, but to many people. Damn. All right, see how shit could go out of your hands? And one and blink of an eye. All right. Justice is, is, is being had though. All right, yeah. And justice is what was going on as this person is receiving justice. This person might have been going through a legal thing, or God just has been seeing them implement certain boundaries or certain things when 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 not, you know, being when not when setting apart from a crowd and putting all that shit to an end and started to focus on themselves. All right. The death card and the justice card is 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 very powerful, and they are major arcana cards. But it tells you that you know the only way you can receive good karma and change your life and change your change your, change your fate and change your luck is if you really go through an ego death and put to an end all these karmic things and karmic relationships and belief systems and that is holding you back. Mainly, this Queen of Swords and their friends. Gossiping, interrupting, and destroying partnerships for you. All right, because you weren't attracted to them. Because you weren't. Because you weren't satisfied. Simple. All right. So, yeah, I see you going within. Yeah, look, you did not want to be a part of this. All right, look, you turned your back on that. I was like, listen, I'm going to get myself together. Because every time people went out, this will, this, will become, this will happen with this Queen of Swords and their group. 
You know, a birds of a feather flock the fuck together is what it's looking like. All right. And y'all chose as an emperor. Y'all got better shit to do. For some of you guys, you older in age, not that age matter. But at the, at the age y'all at, y'all know that y'all not supposed to be working as hard, especially in a relationship with a queen of swords that's supposed to be a warrior of truth and very smart in decision making. All right, so y'all chose to turn y'all back to the bullshit and all the chaos and confusion, especially when it's something about when y'all going out. It's something about y'all going out when y'all going to celebrate or having people in a public place. All right. Spirit, tell me more. Um, I've seen the page of swords, so I'm getting like the energy that after that, this person tries to apologize to you and play on your emotional manipulation. The cards keep falling. Literally, everything just keeps falling. Like, I'm seeing, like, towers. I'm getting, like, those. that's an omen of just, like, towers falling. Okay? Like, literally, just major, just, like, letdowns and stuff. Because, it's like, all of this confusion. All right? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of communication. It's a lot of, like, communication coming in. There's a lot of energy going back and forth. There's a lot of... Communication spirit. What is this communication? All right, about change. All right, about change. About you guys not putting up with that no more and choosing to debt it and make your own justice. All right, for some of you guys, shit changing because the decision was made to go in your favor for you to be released from any comic contract dealing with any type of legal things. All right, but these people are really, really not in a good place right now because you are not planning nothing with them. They're not in your plans. They're not in your future. Will of Fortune, these people are not in your future plans no more. They're not in your future anything no more. They're not a part, thank you, Spirit. They're not a part of your future any longer. All right, these people are not a part of your future any longer. So you've chosen. Well, the, yeah, the, the Queen of Swords and whoever they was, you've chosen to separate yourself because they are not a part of your future. All right, the way they act, the way they represent themselves in public places, that really, really turns you off. All right, you are completely turned off in a bedroom. And as soon as you go home, you might want to go to sleep. You, you might be even prepared to argue. All right, but the, the there's something changing. The time has changed, and you are receiving cosmic justice on top of justice here in its reality. All right, because you put it in. You finally, you finally let that cycle close. All right, and they're dealing with a lot of a lot of fears. All right, a lot of sleepless nights because you finally did it. You finally did it. You finally said this. I'm 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 set apart for these people. These people are not who I am growing into be. And the more I keep these people here, the more I keep this Queen of Swords here with this group, is the more these doors are going to keep closing. All right? So I love you guys, and I hope that helps.